Greetings, Norm Norlander here. I'd like to share with you another excellent searching pattern. It's a modified version of the classic deer hair humpy. A good friend, Charlie Hune, lives in Anchorage, Alaska, has developed this as a high floating, easy to see rendition of the humpy. With its foam back body and the crystal flash wing, it excels at both and the fish love it. This is what the fly is going to look like when we're through. It has some neat characteristics. It's easier to tie, it floats better, easier to see, and it's more durable. We're going to start out by putting a traditional dry fly hook in the vise. This being about a size 12, 14 maybe. Yeah, yeah that's a 12. Okay, the thread we're going to use is an 8 dot thread. It's kind of tan color, about the same color as the uh, back of the humpy. We're going to start out here by first attaching the thread and then dressing the hook. This is where you hold the thread, you run it down the length of the hook, reach into the gape of the hook with your bobbin like this and just keep right on going. Come forward a little bit. Now for the tail, Charlie uses elk hawk, uh, little short stubby hairs off of elk. I'm going to use some moose hair. Uh, it'll actually look pretty similar. It's kind of a mixture of brown and in uh, a little bit of uh, dark uh, stuff in there also. So we take a little clump of this uh, moose hair and we want to extend it so that the tail is going to stick out roughly the body length beyond the end of the hook. We'll start at the front here, make a couple light wraps, a little bit firmer now, work our way all the way to the back here. Okay, yeah, about like so. That's just fine. Okay, we can come forward. This moose hair here, you can actually just fold it over and, and uh, trim it off. Uh, nice and flush about there. I'm going to come up a little bit further. Next, I'm going to take a piece of foam. Now, this is just craft foam. It's uh, about two millimeter thick stuff. And you notice that we cut a strip so that it's roughly the, uh, the same width as the gape of the hook. Find it that it uh, works nice if you take and point the first end or the front end of it like this just a little bit of point like so and come back about eh, a fourth of the distance here and just catch the tip of that foam now I'm holding this so that when I wrap this down it'll roll right up on top of the shank of the hook it's all the way down like so okay and then you come forward like so now you can roll this around a bit until you get it pretty well centered, okay? Now a neat trick, this foam has a tendency to slip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold this in position, use your friction clamp there, and we're going to take a little super glue here, and we're going to glue that body to the shank of the hook. Amazing how well that stuff holds. However, you probably learned not to pinch that right now because you're going to stay connected. So we're going to take a tissue, Kleenex here, and use that as a blotter. That'll absorb all of the glue that's not cured, so now it's safe to touch. The body itself, we're going to use some yellow Antron dubbing. You can tie these in various colors, uh, yellow, red, black, uh, whatever gets you excited that day. When you do your dubbing, start right at the eye of the hook. Don't try to start out here, but if you start right here, it'll catch a few strands, pulls on nice and easy like so. You can run that dubbing out just as smooth as you please, okay? Now we pick up our thread and come back here, and we're going to lay that dubbing right over that foam base. Okay, and come forward a bit. By golly, that's just about right, okay might throw in a half hitch here. Okay, now we bring our foam body over the top like this, give it a bit of a pull, and that'll taper the back end of your body. And then we fasten down the front end like so. A few nice firm wraps. Okay. Reach in with your little pointy scissors here and just push them down tight, clip it off, and you're good to go. Next, the wing. Now, a traditional humpy, of course, we'd use deer hair, we'd bring it forward, and then fold it up into a divided wing. 
and it's nice. It's a kind of a bit of a hassle. This works pretty good here. Uh, this is crystal flash. So we're going to take a little bit of this stuff. Yeah, a few strands like so. And uh, we'll clip those off. There we go. Now, the way I do it is I'm going to double this up. Come in like so. A couple nice wraps. And then you fold the other end up and tie it off. And that'll lock it in place nice. Okay. The height of the wing is a sir. Oh, about body length. Now don't cut it off square. It looks like a paintbrush. Lay your scissors down like this. And this will give you a, a kind of a nice tapered effect there. You can get a few wild ones there. So, I don't know, it just looks more artsy craftsy. Hackle. Now Charlie uses a, uh, a grizzly hackle. Uh, you can use a badger. Uh, this is a kind of a nice one. It's actually bleached grizzly. It has a nice tan color about the shape, the size of the excuse me, the coloration of the body. So here's a hackle. And again, about one and a half times the gape of the hook. Be the correct size. Strip off a couple fibers to get it started. Take a nice even wrap like so. And we'll secure that with a half hitch. You'll probably get by without that. but Okay, use your friction clamp here and then the turning arm of the back of your vise and you can very very carefully lay that hackle right where you want it. Beautiful job. Okay, bobbin comes over like this we get around in back of the quill a couple times and then once in front. Now I can reach in here and trim out the quill, the stub of the hackle we have a little piece of rubber tubing that we've left on our bobbin. Use that as a hackle guard. So you can push that hackle back out of the way and that gives you an opportunity to come in and do a nice decent half, excuse me, a whip finish like I'm doing here. Pull that up nice and tight. Okay. Bring your hackle guard back down. You just leave that right on the on the bobbin tube like so. And Clip off our thread. Probably a little dab of head cement on there would be a great idea. But, uh, you know, you look at that thing, it'll thing will float like a cork, and the fish will just jump all over it. It's a great fly. You're going to love it.